Wikipedia, a wiki of dicks. Today's entry, Mitch McConnell. Addison Mitchell Mitch McConnell Jr. is a lawyer, the senior U.S. Senator from Kentucky, the new Senate Majority Leader, and a dick. Elected to the Senate in 1984, McConnell quickly staked out his position as Big Tobacco's Big Dick, partnering with industry lawyers to help write a bill that would have protected cigarette companies from lawsuits. They were very appreciative. Here are actual notes from McConnell and his staff to tobacco lobbyists, thanking them for various gifts, including a beautiful ham, delicious pecan candies, luscious citrus fruit, and tickets to a Ringo Starr concert. But the biggest payoff? came in campaign cash. After he dickishly helped kill a proposal to curb youth smoking, Philip Morris rewarded McConnell with $150,000 in donations to Republican senators. In the late 1990s, McConnell offered a rousing display of dick philanthropy when he established a University of Louisville scholarship in his name, but insisted that women could only qualify if they pledged to never have a child out of wedlock. McConnell's dick moves extend to foreign policy. In private meetings with President George W. Bush in 2006, McConnell urged Bush to bring home a significant number of troops from Iraq. He made this request, not on the grounds that it would save soldiers' lives, but because not doing so would damage Republicans in the midterm elections. McConnell's flair for being a hypocritical dick is evident in his shifting stance on campaign finance reform. For many years, he passionately argued for full public disclosure of political donations. But after Citizens United opened the dark money floodgates, he happily set aside a cause he championed for 20 years and blocked legislation requiring big corporate donors to disclose their campaign contributions. Then in December 2012, he achieved a rare pinnacle of dickery when he ended up filibustering a bill he himself had sponsored. McConnell seriously boosted his dick cred last summer at a ceremony honoring the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act, when a group of congressional leaders linked arms to sing We Shall Overcome, and Mitch offered his trademark dickish enthusiasm. Of course, lifelong dick behavior comes at a price, apparently around $75,000. That's the amount McConnell's most recent campaign had to spend on airfare, meals, and lodging to get people to attend his campaign events and, quote, contribute to an enthusiastic atmosphere. We had some staff people <laughs> staffing the events, the sound system and that sort of thing. Perhaps McConnell's greatest claim to dick fame is the way he has unrelentingly used his mastery of Senate tactics to obstruct President Obama at every turn, taking dickish delight in proclaiming. I've been a proud uh, guardian of gridlock and demonstrating that even at 72, he hasn't lost a dick step. McConnell, a 30-year veteran of the Senate and one of the true power brokers in D.C., ran for re-election last year as an outsider. The change agent in this race is me. And it fucking worked. Given all this, one could well conclude that Mitch McConnell is a complete and total dick, in which case, one would be absolutely right. What a dick. I'm Mitch McConnell, and I approve this message.